Hello, this is Julian with Julian Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we have an update from the OnePlus Open. We have Android 14, aka Oxygen 14. So we're just going to do a quick rundown of what changed, what's new, and we're going to get to that. But before we do that, if you can like, subscribe uh, this channel, we appreciate it. Leave a comment below if you still have the OnePlus Open, if you already updated it. All right, so we received the Oxygen 14, aka Android 14 update. So let's see what changed. The first thing we're going to talk about is the per app refresh rate. So this allows you to change the refresh rate per app you choose. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the phone because we have OnePlus open. Let's go ahead and use that beautiful screen. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to display brightness. Then we're going to go to screen refresh rate. And as mentioned before, I already have everything at high, which is up to 120 hertz refresh rate. But now we have the app specific refresh rate, which is here. So as you can see here, you have all of your apps listed here. And currently they're all at the default 120. But let's say, for instance, you don't want Full Locker running at 120 hertz. You can change the option here from 60 to 90 or the 120, as mentioned before. So need a little update if you don't need everything running at 120 hertz. Okay, let's talk about the next change. This is the two finger drag and drop feature when it comes to your photo. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Google Photos. And for instance, I have my photo here. And now OnePlus Open, aka Android Oxygen 14, is allowing us to drag and drop using two fingers. So let's go ahead and highlight that. And you see I'm moving my picture here. I can go with the home screen and let's say I can open up X and then I can post a new photo and I can drag it here and drop it here. And it gives me the option to post and then voila, there it is right there. Or instead of holding your finger and making sure it does it, it drags in the drops in the right place, you can hold it and you can save it to the file doc here. So now you can go to any app and then you can just pull it to the side and then drag it or select it. I'm going to drag it right here and does the same thing. It's a pretty neat little feature. You just hit post and then voila, it's ready to post. All right. So the next thing we're going to talk about in this new feature is swipe down at home. So currently, if you go to the home and then you hold long press and then you go to more. OK, and then you go to swipe down on home screen. There's three options. So you have the shelf and the notification drawer, which was already there. Now they've included the global search function. So just a quick rundown. This is the shelf on the home screen where you swipe down. It gives you the shelf. So it gives you a couple pre-installed apps here. And that's pretty much it. But the notification you still can drag if you go all the way to the top left. Let's look at the other option here. So let's go to swipe down home screen notification drawer. So with this option, you swipe down from the middle of the screen, the notification drawer comes up. Pretty simple. But now with the new update, you can do a global search. What that means is when you swipe down the middle of it, you have an option to search pretty much any subject. For instance, if I wanted to look for um, Apple, if I type in Apple, it will not only give me my contacts related to that, it will give me the settings related to that. You can go to Chrome and search through there or the Google Play Store. So a neat little feature added to make this phone more uh, user friendly and flexible. So pretty neat. OK, let's talk about the next feature, which is Health Connect. So a little bit more conscious of being healthy is being added to the OnePlus Open here under Android Oxygen 14. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in Health Connect. And it shows up here. Now, this feature is able to manage all the help health apps that you have on this particular phone. If you have Fitbit or if you have 
Google Fit or O Health or Samsung Health, what it does is give permission. You can give all these apps permission to get data access to everything. And you can see all the categories that you gave it access to. So you're allowed access for Fitbit, for active calories burned, blood pressure, body fat. You selected everything you want that app to access on this particular uh, phone under Android 14, Oxygen 14. And like so for Fit or O Health, I have I allowed all access to all of these features uh, in here, and it's all wonderfully organized in this particular uh, Health Connect app. So it helps connect all your health. Go figure. Okay, that's pretty cool. Next thing we're going to talk about is the smart cutout feature. So that is related to pictures. So if you go into your native photos under OnePlus, I have a picture of my kids here. So you just tap and you hold, and voila, it has the same cutout features. You can either copy, save, or share, or you can hold it and you can drag it to the aforementioned uh, two finger drag and drop dock here. And it does a cutout, which is uh, familiar with the Apple phone. You can do that already. And just like so, I can either pull from my file doc here and paste it on here. And then voila, it has to cut out and it's eliminated the background. Pretty cool. All right. The next thing we're going to talk about is the select text. So this is pretty much a standard feature for our Google phones or any type of uh, updated software, this is where I'm able to extract the text from it. So let's just go for a photo that has text in it. So for instance, here. So now if I hit this icon search button, I can either select the text within the picture or I can select the text up here and I'm able to copy and, and extract it. Uh, which is a very nice feature using the Google Lens search feature button. So this is very Google friendly. All right. <clears throat> and uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is the change icon per app. So, for instance, if you wanted to change the look of your the icon on your home screen, uh, the first thing you would do, uh, let's do with Gmail. You would just press and hold. And then you would hit the uh I think that's a check mark button. And then right in here, there's another edit button and you can change the icon to wherever you want. And there's a plethora of icons you can choose to have, but just a pretty cool feature. And you can do that with pretty much any app. So you go to this little check mark and then you go in here and you can change it to wherever you want. Pretty cool. All right, the last feature that we're going to discuss is the always on display. Uh, there is a new option for the always on display. So let's go ahead and go into our settings. Let's go with always on. That's under wallpapers and style and then always on display. And now we have the carbon footprint option here. And if we just tap it in here, this will give you a certain CO2 percentage based on how much you're walking, which is a neat little feature. So let's go ahead and select. And obviously, you can change the color of your time, your clock. So let's go ahead and show this on it's on display. And then voila, as you can see, I've burned zero uh, emission, uh, emissions or carbon dioxide. But just a neat little feature uh, to add to your OnePlus Open, always on display. Well, that was pretty much it. This is all the features that I wanted to highlight today. Uh, once again, I appreciate you coming by the Julian Tech Review channel. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate all of your comments and your likes. Thanks.